right, we've returned with Megan Ladine, the executive director, right here on Channel 18. I'm uh, sorry, executive director of the Grand Foundation. And uh, I couldn't do TV for a living. <laughs> I can't either. <laughs> uh, and. Uh, we're talking about volunteering. Uh, we've talked about raising a ton of money. Um, another thing that's been very important is scholarships to the community. Um, a lot of our high school kids, you've uh, given out some scholarships, I believe. Absolutely. You know, uh, one of our larger events, which was held at Devil Sum Ranch Resort and Spa in May, we a portion of the funds we give to graduating seniors in terms of scholarships. And so between West Grand and Middle Park High School, we gave out $12,000 in scholarships to the 2016 grant. Do they write classes. an essay that you read, or how does this get awarded? Sure. So our application is based on volunteerism, kind of pulling it all oh, full yeah. circle. We asked them to fill out these applications, tell us what volunteerism means to them. You know, uh, all of our high school students are required by the end of high school to put in 40 hours of community service to a nonprofit in the community. We look for the people that go above and beyond. So that's part of their decline. I never knew that. That's a wonderful thing for Absolutely. Them. Just in the eight applicants that we gave funding to, in total, they had over 6,000 hours of community service to our community in their four years of high and school. And they're not even 18. Well, maybe 18, but yeah, yeah that's incredible. 6,000 of just eight people. That's why we keep, we keep coming back to that whole term volunteerism, and it's such a big part of who we are. Um, not only Grand Foundation, but Grand County in general. And I think it's ingrained in adults as well as trickle down to our children. And we're seeing it in all those applications. So that's a huge part. It's such a benefit of our small community that everyone's so willing to volunteer and help keep the community as Absolutely. fun and, just, and energetic as it is. It teaches them, you know, going through life that service learning is a huge part of what, you know, makes this country great. So. Now, you mentioned that those funds came from one of your uh, bigger fundraisers that happened in May, which is the Grand Gala. Mm -hmm. Uh, is that the biggest fundraiser or? Well, really the biggest fundraiser that the Grand Foundation has is our Grand Pass program. Okay. In which we've talked with his, about historically, you know, we have 31 corporate partners within the county in which they give a sum of money, they get Grand Passes and they get sponsorships to our various events, not only the gala but also the Grand Classic. What, what is the Grand Pass then? Can you explain sure. that in a nutshell? Basically, we have partners, Winter Park Resort, Granby Ranch, Fraser Valley Metropolitan Recreation District, uh, YMCA of the Rockies, I could go on and on and on on all the people that donate products to this pass. We basically sell the passes and the proceeds, 100% of the proceeds of that program or the sales of those passes goes out to grants to nonprofits specifically. So that's our largest, that's in excess of $300,000 in a given year. Is this the medallion you see? Yes. So if yeah. you're a lifty and you're scanning passes and someone has a medallion with a scan bar, that's the grand pass? Traditionally, or it was, the medallion. I guess the new yes, thing now is. Now with the new RFID system, we went to the traditional pass medium. So. But in the past, uh, right, you'd see these medallions floating around and wonder what, why are they so special? Yeah. So, I mean, that's, that's our largest. And then we talked about the Grand Gala, and then we also just had in the June. The Grand Gala, not to explain it too much, but it's basically prom for adults. I mean, it is our local, it is great food, great dancing. Every local, you see tons of people you'll recognize there, uh, dressed up, usually pretty nice. Sure, and actually this year being the one exception, you know, we uh, always pick a secondary beneficiary of that event. And this year it was Middle Park Fair and Rodeo. It was their 100 year, or it is their 100 year anniversary. So basically we gave them a grant for $15,000 and we are making the gate or the tickets free to all Grand County this year. So everybody's gonna be able to go to Middle Park Fair and Rodeo and that's August 12th and 13th. And, and they'll 14th. be on next week on our show as well. Yes, so. and that's a free gate entrance for everybody who wants to go. So August, say the dates one more time. Sure, August 12th, 13th, and 14th. That starts with the buyers, um, dinner, and then the rodeo both uh, Saturday and Sunday. Oh, how fantastic. And, and then and there's a, de a demolition derby on top of that later And so on. this year is the year I should have gone to the Grand, Found or Grand Gala because it was cowboy theme. It was, you know, that some people wore cocktail dresses with cowboy boots, some wear the full garb with the cowboy hats and jeans and bolo ties. It was great. It was a really nice change, actually, and I think people really enjoyed it. So I don't think it really fell along that prom theme this year, but... You know, unless you call it cowboy prom. Yeah, I'm stuff. not one to dress up. I call this a pretty nice outfit for me. <laughs> and uh, so this would have been the perfect year for me to attend the Grand Gala. But I went last year and it was just an amazing event. We had such a great time. So. It was fun. But I do know that you got to participate in just our last event. I did this year. And that was also a blast. But we're going to take a quick break and we'll come back, talk about uh, the past, or the one event just happened, as well as talk about a lot of the concerts coming up. 
And uh, as we head to commercial, a big thanks to Middle Park Medical Center, keeping life grand here in Grand County. Uh, once again, a key sponsor of ours, mpmc.org. We'll be back shortly. Middle Park Medical Center is your hometown provider for family care and surgical services. We are committed to providing the best care for every person, mind, body, and spirit. Middle Park Medical Center, keeping life grand.